Jules here from Jules Designs at JT Creation. So welcome to my channel. So what we're doing today is we're just making some book page tags. Um, out of sheets of book page. The book pages, some have been printed on and some have been coffee dyed. And all I've got is I've got some photographs um, that are a freebie uh, on my coffee site. I think it's the Shabby Chic freebie. I've printed some smaller, I've used some stencils, I've used a bit of textured paste, but I've also used some um, embossing powders with the stencils and just some little die cuts and some little labels that I had and bits of lace. So depending on the size of your book page depends on your, your tag. Now this is from an encyclopedia that's been printed on. And the page is seven and two eighths by ten and three eighths. And that's that actually this this one that I made that with, and it I do take a little slither off just to make the tag um just three and a quarter by five inches oh, that, that was a little small it is nice and i will do one but first of all we're going to do this so again it this is quite thin paper because it's encyclopedia like dictionary um paper so i'm gonna have it that way and i think we'll have it yep doesn't matter if the the script on the the, the text on the book page is too um, upside down. You can turn it round. And this um, I've printed on this one, and it's from my Dandelion Digital. So I've folded it in half long ways and folded it in half again. And then what I do. Um, because it takes too long and I've got a, a card here that I got um, from a when I bought a, a screen protector for my phone and it was just for um, putting the screen protector on it's got like a little bit of velvet but you could do that yourself just a little bit of felt or whatever I wouldn't go out and buy one. Yeah, yeah. So we've stuck that down. And I'm going to have that that way. Now that is. So that is three and six eighths by five and a quarter. So I'm going to trim a little bit off, down yeah. to make it three and a quarter inches. And then I'm just. Going to give the give it the tag angles, and because it's got um, glue stick on it, it doesn't want to cut straight. So I just trim it off. I do have um, a card with the the bits on that I can do that. So that is the right way. Um, but I want the colour down here. And these are like purples, beiges and blues. So I think I might stick with the blues. And I'm going to use... Ancient Mariner Oxide, AliExpress. And I don't have the link. Um, you would just have to look up stencil brushes, but I reckon they would have them in Timu as well. And as you can see, I went a little bit 
I am overzealous with the colour there. And I'm going to change it to prize ribbon, which is a, a little bit more bluey. And I'll just go over that a bit, as you can see. And what have I got? Salty Ocean, which is a brighter blue. And I'm just going over it a bit here. Okay, so there we are. So there we have that little bit of stencil in there and then I'm just going to put them away and then what I did so this is just a talc um, bag and what it does is it just takes the static away and I'm just doing it over that because what I'm going to do washed and I think we'll actually have the music. Um, right. So we'll have some music. Now the embossing ink that I'm using is um, Versamarker. And I'm just dipping it in like I would normally a stencil. And I'm just not doing all of it. Just little bits and we'll have these I can't read music so I know there's cleft treble clefts and what have you I'm just putting a bit more if you've got one of these you know you can just tap on the that's a embossing dabber <laughs> clear. So there we are. Now I can see the music notes. I don't think you'll be able to see them on the camera. Um, this is a. I've had this for years since my card making days. So I haven't got a Scooby Doodle. Um, who it's by? I got it from Creating Craft. Or QVC, one of them too. And then I'm just, and there you are. So I'm just putting this on. I mean, this, this must be about 20 year old. Um, and it hasn't got a name on the side or the back or anything. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to heat these. If you don't have embossing, um, powders and a heat gun you can just do it with paint you know or carry on with ink but I will quieten this part down I'll try and um video it so you can see it turning um I'm not sure I will catch the camera with that okay not quite sure how much of that you saw but you can see it's brighter and you can see it and that's dry now. You can't do anything um, with that. You can't wipe it off. You could scrape it off, I suppose, but you would ruin your paper. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go around here with um, the Villainous Oxide because it's got purples and things on and I really need to use a different... And then we'll just put that up there. And then what we're looking for is a nice photograph to go on there. So we'll do that one, I think. And 
I've just trimmed this out on the trimmer so I'm just going to trim the, the rest of the, the white bits off. Photograph paper, it's a bit squeaky. Um, give me a bit of water. Don't put this on your photograph paper, but I'm just dabbing that in there. And it just colours. Your photograph paper a little bit more. I'm just dabbing it off on the desk just to dry it a little bit. Be careful when you're messing on with water with photograph papers and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over with the blue right on the edges just to give it that tiny bit of blue because obviously it's blue and purple on there now what we want is we want some boot page um decide where we're going to have this I don't want to cover up all the the, the, the music um, I think we'll have it there page right. here As you can see, that's had everything on it but brown. Um, I've got walnut stain here, and it's just the the distressing. And I'm just going over the edges just to make them pop a little bit. Okay, and. I'm just wondering if I should use a little bit of white paper as well. Now that's what I used on this one. And what they are is they're just bits of digitals from my uh, new shoes digital. And I used the deckled edge scissors just to cut them out. And that's exactly what I'm doing. I'm just going to cut these corners off because I'm not really wanting bits sticking out. And I'm going to go over this with blue, I think. And that's just too white. Just, oh, it's my cup of tea. Okay, that's my coffee come. And I'm just, I am going over with a bit of brown. And it tends to turn the blue a little bit green, which is fine. <laughs> a bit better. Ah, that does look better. Yes. But I still want a bit of purple on it, so I'm going to bring this down and I think what I'll do is I'll do the, the dusty Concord. That's better.
yeah so i've done a little bit of dusty concord down here and up at the top which is fine and then what we'll do is we'll glue these bits down i think we'll put a bit of lace on this as well coming to the end of my glue so bear with me Just popping that in the middle. And if I feel I've got a bit too much, um, of a, you know, board around, I can take it down a little bit more like that. And then just go back over that with the blue and then the dusty concord in the corners okay now can i put that on without that and do These are just labels that I got, um, they're not mine. I might put a bit of blue on it. So I'm having a look at that and I'm going to have a look at some lace. I might put some lace. Take that off. I'm going to take that right up to the edge, so I'll probably take that off there. Yep. And it's that glitter glue I'm using. You can use Fabri-Tac, it does, it's meant to be better, but I've got art glitter glue and that's what I'm using at the moment because I'm too lazy to get my fabric tack out. <laughs> Not the best lace cutting scissors but they'll do. And we'll just pull that like that. And I think I'm going to sit that right up to the edge so it might take a little bit of the photograph away, which is fine. I don't mind. But I think I want more than one label on. I'm going to put that there. And... Right, I'm going to use this. This one says, if you look the right way, the whole world is a garden. And I quite like this. And I'm going to edge this one in brown, I think. Could change my mind. And I think what we might do is we might have that on the boot page. Yep. Glue's leaking on my scissors. Okay. 
here. And I think we'll just have that right across there. Looks quite nice. It's a happy accident because I would have just, if I hadn't seen it, I would have just trimmed it off. And there we are. So I'm going to trim. And there we are so yeah it took it right to the photo and it looks quite nice and i've got some glue on the photo which is just makes it look a little bit more interesting and then i've got a ribbon um loop punch we'll put that in and i'm just Going to do that so that's that one quite simple to make so that's the the larger boot page you can do them any color i mean you don't even have to use um printed ones these were coffee dyed that was a printed one and um, that will go in my my dandelion um journal so now what we'll do is we'll do we'll have a go at making the small it's just one slightly patinaed um so again fold it long ways and what i'll do is i'll stick that down like that and then fold it in half again No, that must have been a smaller boot page yet. Um, and then we'll put that there like that. Give that. And again, um, if you know if you don't have an angle punch what i've got is lots of these cards and i bet i've just thrown away right okay i've just thrown away what i would normally use um so what i'm doing is i'm just cutting the edge off that starbucks card And then turn it over, match the edges up, and there we are. So that's how easy it is to do. This stencil, I think. Yeah. And... I'm going to use vintage photo. And as you whoop, I've moved it, doesn't matter. As you can see, when I first put the stencil down on the um when I put the brush down to the stencil, I put it on the bit of the plastic that just takes the bulk of the the ink just so that you don't get sort of like dark bits however if that's what you like that's what you like um i've done it loads of times by mistake and i get <laughs> some interesting effects um There, as you can see, that's that. I am going to go over it here. And 
there we are and then I'm just going to go around it with the vintage photo now at the moment the boot page feels a little bit damp because obviously the the glue seeping into the pages and then all of a sudden once the glue's dry there the tag goes quite hard and rigid okay we'll put that over there and put that on there and i think what we might do is we might do a bit of pink so i'm just dabbing this over just to get rid of the static and what i'm going to use is i'm going to use a stamp all right <clears throat> now i don't want to use stamp i only want part of it with the butterfly so that's all i'm putting on the block i'm just squeezing it on and then i'm going to use my versa marker which is the embossing I'm trying just to get the butterfly on some of the text. Shove that back up there. And then we'll put that there and just put the butterfly in the middle and just pressing it down. If I get a little bit more than what I wanted, it's fine. Put my nail on there. I think I've got it all. If I haven't, I haven't. And then what I'm going to use is I'm going to use this Antique Rose Quartz by Ranger. I'm not quite sure. I think it's a uh, translucent. I'm not sure. Um... It's a while since I've used it. And there, as you can see, I've got a little bit more than what I wanted, but that's fine. I'm just using my nails just to pick it off a little bit. and it's one way if you've got embossing powders and things it's one way of using your embossing powders if you've stopped card making and stuff you can bring it into your journaling so again i will quieten this bit down i'll try and do it so you can see it turn So there you can see it so the it, it's gone a little bit orangey it's not as pink as what it was which it now blends into the back and it looks quite nice um i can see i think of you tells one two you can make out some of the text and because i've used the heat gun that's made that go quite quite rigid um quite like this lady here she's a contender quite like that lady because these go with that I think it's going to be that lady so it's deciding which one I want I think I'll actually have this one but what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it in a frame now I've got some these were uh frames that I got in a card making kit years ago so I couldn't even tell you um, it's probably the American craft uh, company or something it'll be one of the scrapbooking uh, companies that was quite popular and I've just cut those yep and I'm 
just I'm just doing the bottom and the sides at the moment because this is going to come right up to the top of the photograph. That look like that. Getting glue on my photograph again. And then we'll just trim. I think I need to pull them bits off my You can make these frames yourself if you've got a square punch or just even a ruler. Um, I've got videos where I've showed you how to do specimen cards, so it's probably the same. Um, I'm going to see if I can do... Okay. Okay, that one back in again. It's because it's got glue on it. And this is the vintage photo that's been left on here. And there. Oh, that looks quite nice. And then I've got some of these like little goldy bits of doilies um i've got more one that's more gold like that um what about a little heart little heart button Right, we'll pull a bit more of the doily out there and we'll put that in the middle there. And then we'll go for I think we'll go for fearless. These are just just words. I think whoever done them has gone through the dictionary and I got them off the internet a wee while ago, um, so I don't even know where I got them. They actually look as though they've been typed, so somebody could have. But they were free. I didn't pay for them. Um, so I think that's right. So what we'll do is we'll glue the... Let's see if I can get... No, it's not going to make any difference. So these are just, oh, this is just a die cut doily that I had. Um, it'll be um, a Sizzix. No, it'll be a Spellbinders. I used to buy lots of Spellbinder dies um, in the day in, you know, when they did them on Create and Craft. Um, in the big packs when they sold them well, quite a lot of money as well two or three hundred pounds which was a lot of money but I was working then I'm not working now <laughs> I'm retired so any money I make from my crafts just goes back into my crafts Okay, I'll put that. No, I want it on the frame, I think. Just hold it down. The, the glitter glue does, um, the art glitter glue, sorry. Once it, it catches, it is a, a quite, a, it's a really strong glue, so. And then the little heart. Okay. 
and I've done the doily a bit too far over that way it should have gone into the middle but never mind it's been done now so if I wanted I could put a little bit of doily there but I'm not going to and there we are we have that and I'm just going to trim these bits off and again Just put a little bit of ink over there now. Do I want some lace on that? Um, do I want it underneath or do I want it on top? I think I'll have it on top. So I'm just and then we'll just put that right a bit the little peak is peeking off a little bit There we are. And I think I just want something a little bit more. Um, I've got some crackling campfire here, so I'm just a little tiny. It's like a ready orange, like a, a blood orange type. And I'm just putting that on just yeah I think we might have a little bit more okay and I know I shouldn't do this but I'm going to And I've got a little word arts that I'm just don't know how that'll show up, but I'm going over it quite strong. Yep. There we are, and I think I might do a little bit down here. So if you've got stencils with words on, you can do this, but you need a, you could use a, um, a Q-tip, you know, the little sticks with the cotton wool on and things like that. They're ideal for doing sort of like fine stenciling and things like that. I'll just put that down there. So I'm just going to leave that. Just gonna put a little bit and there we are. So that's how easy boot page. Um and you can see it's it's quite quite strong before it was floppy. And so all it is, is a boot page and it's folded in four and it just gives you enough. Now, normally I would stitch down this, so I will stitch down here. I can stitch along there. I can't stitch there, so I'll just do that. This one, I can stitch all the way around. That's got a thick frame, so my machine won't take it. 
Um, so these are the two that we made on camera and these were the ones that I made and I like using the photographs and again the photographs are a freebie on my coffee site they're in the if you look for the shabby chic um freebie and it's the, these ones I don't think that one's on it that's totally different that's something I need to do so anyway so I hope you get something from that and I will see you in the next video bye